Today, we have another Boom Loop Mystery Box, but this time, it's from the Imperfect Run. Let's get started, let's get going. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you are new here, I am Funko Sly Wolf, aka Jacob, and today, we have a Boom Loop Mystery Box. And it's not just any Boom Loop Mystery Box, we have one of the Imperfect Boxes. So, let's pull the box over. This box came in at $65 plus shipping. So not too bad. I think in total it was like 80-ish dollars, uh, 78, 80-ish, somewhere around that range. So not super bad. Guaranteed value on this box is $100. Now, like I said, this is uh, volume 46 of the imperfect boxes, uh, which means there can be some things in here with some damage on it. So maybe a couple tears, some dings, some dents anything like that but we're guaranteed 35 extra dollars of value because of that it is six pops in here uh we're gonna go ahead rip right into this while we're ripping into it let's take a look at the top hits that they showed um and right away i'm seeing the original goofy is something that i want right there the disney number 38 um i see bing bong up there towards the top that's another really great one the mr incredible I would like a lot and then any of the freddies uh so the freddy green ranger the freddy uh mad hatter with the glow in the dark version that'd be a really cool one and then i know for sure my wife would want the siri from um the witcher and as well as the Geralt from the witcher so we could pull any of those this will be a wonderful box i imagine this is going to be double boxed knowing the loop it is. All right. So it was double box. And here we go. That boom loot seal on it still. Uh, we're going to open it from the bottom. Because I believe boom loot normally has them upside down. Or right side up. So if I open it from the bottom, I should be looking at the bottom of the pops. So let's rip into this. And see what we got yeah i'm really hoping for honestly the goofy is probably one of my number ones um or the bing bong so there are six pops in here we are looking at the bottom so we can't tell any of them are uh we're gonna start with the newer ones first so the ones that have that blue um scan me on the bottom of them because i'm assuming those are going to be like commons and things like that so there are three with that and then there are three uh without that first one up is boom what is this? Iron, Iron Spider, I believe, from Avengers Endgame? Yeah. Honestly, not bad. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any damage on this. So the damage, uh, the damage runs can sometimes have some damage on them. Um, but honestly, from what I've seen from other YouTubers, a lot of it is pretty like not damaged pops. We're gonna go with another one with the blue marker. This is from Encanto. Is this the mom? Yeah, Julieta. Julieta Madrigal from Encanto. This is such a great movie. Once again, not seeing... Ah, uh, there's a little crunch back here. A little crunch. But that's all I'm seeing on that one. And then we have one more with the blue on it. Boom. Uh, what is this? Mirio Togura from My Hero Academia. Uh, and it's just the common. I actually have this in my collection behind me. You probably cannot see, but it is behind me. All right. The other three pops that are in here uh, do not have this blue marker on them. So they should be a little older pops, guys. We're halfway through the box. Before we get into the last half, guys, make sure you go down below, leave a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We are growing. Our next goal is 200 subscribers, guys. So if we can get there by, you know, the next two, three months, I would be greatly appreciated. So if you aren't subbed to the channel yet, guys, make sure you go down below and subscribe. All right. Next up, we have Thor from Thor Ragnarok. I can already feel some damage on this one. Yeah. Okay. So the two, there's a, there's a damage, like these two corners are ripped, and then there's a slight mark up here so nothing too major though 
Uh, Hot Topic exclusive. I would probably say this one's probably worth 30, 30 ish dollars. Next up, we have Boom. Oh, this one has a sticker on the back of it. And I believe this was on the bottom row. Master Chief from Halo. The sticker has a little bit of sticker pill going on. And there's a little, little mark up here at the top. But the sticker said 55 on this. So, of course, we will double check value, but that's not a bad hit. I believe this was like fourth on the bottom. So, one of the more expensive pops in this run. Coming in from 2018 as well. So, when did this store come out? This store came out in 2017. Okay. So, it's like 2017 is the oldest one we have. And then this one, Star Wars. Boba Fett. The 2021 Fall Convention Boba Fett. Just a shared sticker. Uh, damage wise, not really seeing, not seeing much damage, which is good. I'd probably say this one's 20-ish dollars and then just an empty box for everyone. So uh, I'll be honest, I, I know we should have at least got $100 in value. Not entirely sure where we fell. The Master Chief itself was worth like 50. So, but uh, yeah, I'll check values on all these and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back with the prices here. We're gonna start with the lowest volume priced and go up. So coming in dead last, we have Mirio from My Hero Academia and Mirio right here is coming in at $10. Next up on the list, we did have Iron Spider from Avengers Endgame and Iron Spider is coming in at 18 dollars next up which i think she's a little undervalued in my opinion i think she's a great pop but she is just a common but julieta madrigal coming in at 23 dollars really good pop of the day boba fett over here from the mandalorian coming in at 24 dollars next up we had thor from thor ragnarok and this is thor holding surfer's head and he is coming in at $31. And then what I thought was the big hit on the day because of where it was placed uh, in the picture, we have Master Chief with the energy sword from Halo. And Master Chief is coming in at $55. So in total on the box, we paid $65 plus shipping. And we made a total from all the pops, we got a total of $161 dollars back so almost almost a hundred dollars extra in value and i'll keep in mind a few of these do have some damages door being the most damaged for sure uh, but honestly i think i'd be able to get at least a hundred for all of these uh for any of them that i'm reselling so not bad i definitely made a lot of money back on this box which is super great and honestly besides master chief and Thor. The other three are pretty much in mint condition. Um, Julieta has a little bit of damage back here in the back. But overall, I think this was a wonderful box from Boom Loot, guys. Go down below. Let me know which was your favorite pop on the day. Maybe you really enjoyed the Master Chief or the Julieta from Encanto. My favorite on the day, I'm going to have to say, is actually Julieta or Julieta from Encanto. I think that this movie was amazing. Um, I love this pop. Uh, almost tempted to keep it and start collecting this line. And then my next favorite on the day, just because it was such a great hit, of course, we got to go with Master Chief, guys. If you enjoyed the content, guys, make sure you go down below, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.